everybody welcome back I've got a journal to share with you guys today if you watched my faux leather tutorial um, this was the cover that we created during that tutorial I finally have gotten around to finishing it off so it is a six by nine inch journal I've got two signatures in here um, it's been reinforced it's uh, got lots of different vintage trims on it. I'll give you a close up, and then I did some collaging with various elements from. I've got a couple of uh, kits that are in here. I've got the Seneca Pond Beekeeper Practical Beekeeper Kit, and then Artie May's Bees in the Garden Kit. And the reason I've done that is because I had left over from two journals so I didn't want to waste it so I've incorporated those together so this is um, this is how this has come about there's the back of the journal and then like I said it's got two signatures so we'll go inside it says live in the moment that's a uh, Tim Holtz book plate there or metal yeah metal quote okay so here's the cover Sorry guys, let me just adjust my lighting slightly. Okay, so there's the front cover. I've done a lot of stitching in here with the uh, black thread. I just did various um, handmade tags and then, like I said, it's a mix of those two kits. So, um, just whatever I had left over, I've just combined in here. I did a pocket. And then this has got some, <coughs> excuse me, cotton fabric behind it. Uh, all the papers have been tea dyed. Um, here I've got another, um, this is a journal card with a tuck spot and then another pocket that I created here. I'll try to give you guys a close up. And then I've got hand stamped tag um, just various elements like I said um, little mason jar cut out and this, this is one of the tiny envelopes it's um, it's amazing how much I've still ended up having left over and both of the journals I created I would packed them really full <laughs> I've done some stenciling in this as well and let's see more stenciling um, here's another of the beautiful journal cards <coughs> here I did a um, altered paper clip and then this was some leftover um, digital image that I had from another kit uh, and I thought that went nice with the sunflower so yeah, it's a it's really a journal that's kind of um, you know using my stash again because I really that's that's my main focus this this year is to try to go through as much of my stash as possible and um, clear out some room and I probably will end up filling refilling it with new stuff is what I hope <laughs> here I did some collaging I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram but <clears throat> I posted the other day I got these beautiful um, sorry I'll just grab them really quick I got these beautiful little um, cocktail napkins at a garden center here and um, so I thought, well, I'm, I'm, because I love the bees, I knew I'd be working with some more bee journals. And I'm not done. I will definitely re revisit these two kits again. Um, but I just needed <coughs> to downsize with what was left over. So anyways, I did some decoupage. You'll see I did a couple of tags with that in here, because I kind of, when I decoupage, I try to do a batch of things um, at one time and uh, so that's what I did yesterday evening I had a little bit of time this is uh, one of those book pages from that new book um, I really like those images I think they're so pretty look at 
the it's very much like the uh, Edith Holden, so I love that. Here I've done a tea dyed um, envelope. Nothing's in that, but like I said, I've filled the pockets very full in this, so I wanted to leave a few places empty. Here I've done an alteration, added an alteration tag, did more machine stitching, and a couple of more journal cards and tags. Some more stenciling. And this is the center of the signature. I love that paper. A bit more machine stitching. And this is one of the little tiny envelopes. So I've just included that. Yeah, both of those kits are, are really large kits and uh, I couldn't believe how much stuff I still had left. But, you know, having said that, that was not from just two journals. That was from, I think, I've, gosh, I don't know, I've lost track really, probably about five journals. And you always have the odd piece here and there. And I thought today, I thought, oh, I'm just, or well, not today, but over the last couple of days, I thought, well, I'm really, I just want to try to, clear out because I know I've got some new um, kits that I'm going to be working with so I just need space. I've got a very very small crafting space. Um, I call it my studio because um, <clears throat> that's where I create everything but it is it is very small so I can't let things get out out of hand or I just uh, I, I would have no workspace. This is a coin envelope, and I've just taken one of Artie Mae's pockets and stitched there. So this is just a floating, um, you know, envelope that you could move around. Here I did some collaging. This is some scrapbook paper. I still have some scrapbook paper left over. I love using that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this is one of the mason jars. This is in Artie Mae's bee garden kit, so I've just sewn that in so that you got another nice little spot there. Uh, and then we're on to the second signature. Here I've just, I had some off cuts, so I've stitched those together to make another little notebook, and that's tucked in, and um, just did a little tuck spot there. Uh, here's <clears throat> one of the newsprint bags. There's nothing in that, but here, another pocket that I've done some stitching around. Another beautiful journal card. Uh, this is an index card that's been tea dyed and then just various pieces that I had left over. I love how this uh, tea staining came out this time. I don't know how, how I ended up getting those designs, but um, eh, sometimes you just can't. You don't know how they're going to come out, but I'm really happy with that batch. I'm going to try to do a bit more this afternoon. I'm trying to do, I used to do my tea dyeing, um, you know, just, I'd take a day or two and do it, but I'm trying to just do, you know, every couple of days, just do a smaller batch because, as you know, it's not my favorite process. For, of the of the journaling, so I, I'm just trying to do a, so you know a little bit along, so it's not so tedious for me. But um, eh, I, I've got to get back to it because I'm I'm getting very low on my papers. Here I've done a little um, another paper clip. This is another one of the little envelopes. These are so pretty. So I just pinned that to the back. This is a, a, the other side of that um, book page. And then here I've just done another floating um, double pocket. So you could tuck something there and then something in here. I haven't put anything in those. Um, <clears throat> so you can fill that up. And then this is a um, one of the clear front glassine bags, and I, what I've done is stitched the journal card to it, and then I've sewn it into the um, page itself. 
so that you've got a single pocket. It's not a double, it's a single. And then this is another of the decoupage. I love those. They are just beautiful, those little bumblebees. <coughs> Flip out uh, music sheet there. I've had a lot of people ask me about my um, little, let me see if I can find one, guys, my little waxed paper um, pockets, because you saw I did my journal, and then the last journal, I put one of these in the beginning. Everybody, um, I guess I wasn't very clear on how to do this. I didn't feel it warranted a tutorial, because there's... I just took the music sheet page, sandwiched it between two layers of wax paper, and I ran it through my sewing machine. Um, I had said I ran it through my machine, and a lot of people have been confused about that. And I understand it. Um, they may have thought I laminated it. I did not. I purely ran it through the machine to hold it in place. And... Um, I just, I like the feel. You guys know I like different textures in my journals. And the other thing I found about this is we've all got those really fragile book pages that are beautiful. Um, but it's not easy to make a, a pocket out of because when you fold them, you know, they, they start to crumble. And it was just another way that I thought maybe we can salvage some of those extra fragile pages. So... So I hope I've made that clear, guys. I'm really sorry for any confusion over that. Um, I just tend to get into, you know, I'm chattering away, and I assume that you know, and I shouldn't, and I'm, I do apologize for that. This is another tiny envelope. One of the little mason jars that comes with the practical beekeeper kits in there. This one's other off cuts and I've just um, sewn them together made a little collage and then that's the beautiful background paper here I've just taken some extra um, sheet that I had left over I've stitched that added another little bit of scrapbook paper so you could do some journaling um, yeah just something different this is a leftover from Mrs. Cog um, the I, I think it's the beekeeper kit that she does. So if you're wondering about which kits I've ever used from Mrs. Cog are the pollinator and the beekeeper. And here's another um, one of the book pages. I think that coordinates really nice with these colors. A um, bit more stenciling. I love this the uh, honeycomb stencil. This is a um, music sheet large pocket that I've sewn into the signature and then I've also stitched it to the journal page so it's it's really really sturdy so that's um, there for you to fill with goodies and more tea dye paper here's another um, decoupage tag if you don't want that many you can always just use them in other projects but I was on a kick last night and you know when you get when you get all that collaging medium and your Mod Podge out, you just you just want to try to do as many as you can. Uh, having said that, I think I only made about ten tags because I just ran out of time. This is some of my new fabric. I've not made a journal with this yet, guys, but it's going to come. I just don't know when, but I love this fabric, so I thought, oh, I'm going to make a little a little fabric tip in. So I've, I've cut that out and, and stitched around to try to stop it from fraying as much. And then I've just attached a little bit of uh, vintage trim that I had that was left over. Yeah, I'm going crazy with the fabric at the moment. I just got in some um, of the Liberty uh, fabric and it is beautiful and it feels amazing but my goodness it's so expensive I, I, I'm going to have to really um, be very selective on what I use that on because it <coughs> is <coughs> extremely expensive material uh, here's another pocket I made on the back I love you guys know I love that page and then this is one of the journal cards 
and then just a couple more little elements that were left over. That's an envelope and a couple tiny, tiny tags. So there it is, guys. This, um, I think I'm going to just name this Live in the Moment because of the nameplate on there. So this is going to go into my um, shop. I'll put the link below if you guys are interested in that. If you got any questions, just put them in the comments below. I'm trying to catch up on comments, guys. Like I told you, for whatever reason, um, I see the notifications probably the first 10 hours of posting. And then, I don't know, YouTube's just, it, it doesn't show me after maybe 10, 12 hours. So I'm just having to catch up when I can. So I apologize if you guys have asked things that I've not gotten around to. I'm really, really sorry. I will try to, um, over the weekend, find some time to go in and see if there's anything I need to, um, you know, answer. And if you ever need to get in touch with me, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, my website, so, um, and then obviously YouTube. So, thank you guys again. I appreciate you stopping by and having a look at this journal. I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I will see you guys here again soon. Bye!